Oh, yo, what is up, guys? Wolf here, and today I'm here to show you guys how to get the freaking old VCR effect you guys have seen in the intro. Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is go to properties, disable resample, make sure that's always clicked. Then you guys want to go into the this icon right here, click it, event effects. You guys want to go to third party or your Sapphire plugins, and you guys want to go to S underscore sharpen, add OK. You guys don't have to do anything in this, I just leave it like as it is. Then after you guys have this, go uh, to plugin chain right here then you guys want to go to s underscore distort rgb add okay and then it's going to be really weird so you want to turn this down to like zero practically zero it's where you barely even notice it and then blur lens just like changes like the blurness i'm just going to leave like that and you guys can change it like any you guys can mess with these settings but like i'm just going to leave like this you know so that's fine to me uh, i'm going to plug in a chain another one i'm going to go over to s underscore tint right here add okay then source saturation you guys want to turn up the saturation this clip doesn't really have much color so i'm gonna go to like a part that does have like a little bit more color you just want to go to scale lights right here and you guys want to turn this down like that you know so it'll look like that so this is what it looks like as of right now okay and then the last thing you guys could do is you guys want to insert a video track and you guys want to go to your files then I have a VHS overlay right here. You guys can just type it in on YouTube and it should be there. And just go like this, drag it out like that. And then you guys want to go to this little green button right here. Then you guys want to change it to screen. That make it looks like uh, it makes it look a lot more like freaking VCR, you know? Looks pretty sick. And then once you guys have that all good, you guys can go on the layer of like where your clips are can go over here and just do the same thing but it'll apply to every single like clip you put inside of this track but i just did it for the specific clip because some people just do it for specific clips i showed you that way and then that way just the same way instead of clicking this you just click that all right guys so that's all you guys need to know for this tutorial it's a pretty cool simple effect but before i let you guys go i want to just let you guys know that i'm sorry for not uploading in like a month and a half i was on vacation because uh winter break and then i got grounded because of grades but my grades are like almost back up so i had like some time to make a video because my dad let me so i'll see you guys later like comment subscribe peace out